Welcome, this is gonna be the first video of the tool, the set of two we're going to work with about Islamic tiles and tessellation. Uh, we already have a um, horizontal line and point page, it's up to you where to place this point um, and also the radius we're gonna take with the the compass. It's advisable that you take well, between four and five centimeters. Um, after drawing the, the first circle, we get two points that I'm going to label as points A and B. Well, uh, f next step to take is to find the or to draw the the perpendicular bisector of the segment AB. How to do this? Well, it's uh, it's very uh, you it's necessary to take a little bit beyond the half of the uh, segment and draw. I'm, I'm going to take a little bit more and draw two auxiliar arches from point A, of course this way I'm going to do the same thing from point B keeping the same radius this is very important um, getting two intersection points I'm going to stress them with the marker this and this of course we need to join these points and a hint to know that you are working the right way is to check that the line is of course perpendicular to AB and pass it through point P. Uh, uh, we already have two new points that are very important. I'm going to stress them with blue color and the marker. This and this. Yeah. It's very very good practice that you label the points in order not to get lost in a very complex, sometimes complex drawing. So the next step to take is to draw four new circles f with the same radius we took at first. So this is gonna be the first one. Uh, from point A, I make sure from point B that the radius is right because I need to make it pass through pass through a point P keep going from point C as well making sure that the radius is right um, well uh, at the end we have only this one left uh, and we get two new points that four sorry new points that are very important these ones I'm going to label them by numbers one two three and four second of flower well Afterwards, I'm going to um, join in red color points 1 to 3. They are going to be the diagonals of a new square we're going to find afterwards, later on. Yes, so uh, even numbers plus all numbers is a, a very good clue to remember which points to join and next step is join going to be a little bit more accurate join points one plus two four to three and the vertical lines one four two and three but we get a uh, square that is out outside 
the the circle the, f the circle we got originally formerly and one of the main characteristics of this circle is that it's tangent to the sides of the square as you can tell very easily uh, another important feature is that we get four new points inside the, the square I'm stressing them by means of the marker and I'm going of course to label them again this is 5 point 0.5 6 7 and 8 we get it um, you, you can tell on the drawing that they are the intersection points between the two diagonals of the square and the circle. So wh wh what are we going to do next? Well, of course, take, take the right tool and start from point A and join it to point 7 and stretch in the line until mm, I'm going to take a different color stronger one and uh, the line a little bit a little bit stronger yes two four. Yes. <coughs> sorry yes the color so you can tell that from point A I joined point to point six and seven until the opposite side of the square. I do the same thing from point B and to 5 and 8 until the opposite side of the square. I do the same thing from point C and point 7 and 8 and eventually from point D 6 and five. And that's all. Uh, this is 